I'm delighted to welcome you to our post State of the Union speech event. The Brookings Institution hosted a discussion analyzing the president's address, focusing on politics and policy. Two panels, eight experts sharing their thoughts. He talked about extending the payroll tax cut. He talked about more infrastructure spending. He talked about ways to get workers back into to help them find jobs. But what the speech lacked was a clear fiscal plan to address our most significant economic challenges. So first and foremost would be the current state of the economy. And everybody is looking to the export sector to generate jobs. And this is where there is a tension between what President Obama is trying to do and what the rest of the world is trying to do. Prasad said China is looking for investment-led growth. I think we are on, on pace to meet the president's stated goal of doubling exports um, in five years. It seems like a, a very dubious uh, and very, very challenging goal to meet, but it does look like that we're on, we're on track to meet that. Both panels discussed manufacturing, but one Brookings fellow made a distinction about the type of manufacturing the president promoted. In the policy world, he's talking about advanced manufacturing, which is really about robotics. It's about high-tech computing. It's a very high-skill, high-tech future. Yet it remains an uncertain future for more than 5 million long-term unemployed workers. But above all, there was a new theme. And that new theme, of course, was concern uh, for basic economic fairness in American society. We can either settle for a country where a shrinking number of people do really well, while a growing number of Americans barely get by. Or we can restore an economy where everyone gets a fair shot, and everyone does their fair share, and everyone plays by the same set of rules. For the Machinist News Network, I'm Tanya Hutchins.